This is the Poco 5X Pro. The device is nice and light with square edges. The design is pretty cool, isn't it? The back is plastic, but it's non-shiny, which I actually prefer because it means you don't get any fingerprints. Now this is a device for limited budgets, but obviously the X5 Pro is a step up from the non-pro version. Poco say that the X5 is engineered to satisfy Gen Z's need for speed and responsive technology. I would say that Poco, which is part of Xiaomi, is definitely a forward-looking company and they generally aim to bring us affordable devices that suit modern trends and lifestyles. But let's look at the cameras on the X5 Pro. There's three rear cameras and one front-facing selfie camera. On the back, there's a 108 megapixel wide camera with an f1.9 aperture. There's an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with a field of view of 120 degrees. There's also a 2 megapixel macro camera. And now on the front, there is a 16 megapixel selfie camera with an f2.4 aperture. When it comes to video, the Poco X5 Pro can shoot 60 frames per second, but only at 1080p. If you do want to shoot in 4K resolution, then your max frame rate is gonna be 30 frames per second. Now, there's no 24 frames per second option in this device, even in the pro video mode. However, I found that using a third-party app, I was able to get 24 frames per second in 4K resolution. The app I used is free and it's called Starcam, and it's actually made by Zhuin for their gimbals, but you can actually use it without a gimbal. There is a slow motion mode which allows you to shoot 960 frames per second at 720p resolution. There's also a vlog mode which allows you to choose a template, shoot a bunch of shots and then the X5 Pro edits them all together for you. There's also optical stabilization as well as digital stabilization. So I went out with the Poco X5 Pro and my DJI Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal and I just grabbed a few shots and create a little sequence. And this is what I came up with. So if you want to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, join me on Patreon. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.